Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, was executed on the 27th of May, 1541. She was the only surviving daughter of George Plantagenet, Duke of Clarence, and sister to Edward Plantagenet, a claimant to the English throne who had been executed during the reign of Henry VII. She faced her final moments with unwavering resolve. Carved on the cold stone of her cell wall, her defiance echoed through the ages. For traitors on the block should die, I am no traitor, no, not I. My faithfulness stands fast and so, towards the block I shall not go, nor make one step, as you shall see, Christ is thy mercy, save thou me. On the morning of May 27, 1541, Margaret was abruptly informed of her impending death, with no crime laid at her feet. Yet she was led to a makeshift execution site within the Tower of London, where a crude wooden block awaited. Eyewitnesses chronicled the event, their testimonies varying in detail, but they all shared the horror of Margaret's demise. With the main executioner absent, a clumsy youth took his place. Eleven brutal strokes of the axe were needed to sever her head, the first blow slicing her shoulder. One account claims that Margaret refused to lay her head on the block, declaring, so should traitors do, and I am none. According to the account, she turned her head every which way, instructing the executioner that if he wanted her head, he should take it as he could. Margaret's courage in the face of such barbarity remains a testament to her strength of character. Her body was laid to rest within the tower. <laughs>